Alright, here's a look at the SIC or SIT line, volume 57, Kamen Rider W, Cyclone Joker. Just show you the sides, which is nothing much, but the back. The back is pretty good. Here we have Extreme form with his gun with his short and sealed. The accessories, the functionality of the double driver, Cyclone Joker's final attack, and I guess this is the posability of these figures. And here are the main poses. Right down here is Japanese warning caution for the adult collector to so be very careful with this Tamashi Nations right here and let's unbox this All right, I'm gonna have to open this from the bottom because from the top you can see there's a little oh maybe not but you can see there's a little tab right here that I can't that's from this part which I can't get out since it's on this part so out the bottom we go Here is the instruction manual, which is, oh damn, it looks pretty nice. This is cardboard back, so it gives you the shiny metallic silver. Here is Kamerader W and his accessories. Pretty nice. But don't worry about like these bars, these just to hold the package together. But they're pretty damn nice man all the, the there's the stand included in this I'll show you guys later alternate hands and so on so when we come back I'll show you what's inside this is the instruction manual very nice it has main body scarf the hand variations memories these are the parts that are needed for the finishing attack. Here are the extreme parts, stand parts. These are how you connect the, um, the scarf. They put in the memories. This is pose. This is how you disconnect all of them. You can disassemble them. And this is how to get the extreme memories in. It's how you connect Ford Extreme. This is what hands you need for the sword and shield. How you can put in the memories. This is the part included for the memory break and these are the parts you need from Cyclone Joker to complete the rest of it. Here's this how which which parts to use with the stand for this. And this I suppose is an alternate way to do it for regular stand action. Alright, so come back later and we'll have more stuff for you. These are the parts for the memory break. These I know I know these two for extreme I just I know I think these are for memory break. All the this is the stand parts. Here we have the memories, the chest, the alternate hands. Ugh. 
shield, the extreme legs, the extreme torso pieces, shoulder pieces, the head, and the memory drives, the sword, this is the main body, and we'll take a more in-depth look after this. Alright, this is like the body all spread out. You can see skeletons, all of this. Kind of cool. Alright, let's start this from the bottom up, shall we? Let's move down right there. It's a pretty good snap in there. It's really damn hard to get them out. Let's see here. See, they even painted the inside of this, which is pretty cool. Let's try to see if we get his butt to work in. Now let's get his crotch piece in there. like the way that it's like kind of uneven to show that it's made from like two different parts now let's get this one now let me pop out these parts Gotta make sure this is nice and tight, don't wanna have it fall off later. And I'm back to putting on the belt. Jesus. Put in and then Let's lower body. Here's torso. Let's just hope I'm doing this right. Here's the upper torso. Well, this one's a bit loose. Uh, here's the back portion. Front portion. Now here is two halves. Pull 
pull up shoulder pads, connect the arms, and the hands. Here's a scarf. The Joker memory is just smoky clear plastic instead of dark. And but the cyclone memory looks very good, so let's put that in here. These are really small, so don't lose them. So these fit in quite well, except this side is very damn stubborn. Alright, so let's just... I don't know, that's a little articulation since it's bound to be the same as the extreme version, so there's toe, there's foot, up and down, side to side, knee, bam! Although the knees look really weird since they're angered, angled to one side, as you can see. Hips, lower torso, middle ab crunch. There's to move it up or down. You can also turn, do this, rest. And there's neck. Well, it's connected to the head, so neck goes along with it. That's pretty good. So let's go on to cyclones. Let's go on to the accessories that you can use for both forms. The extra hands make for great posability. Now I'm using two of the variation hands. Got it. Looks cool. Here is another two sets of alterations. I <laughs> That's funny. Let's take a look. Parent do the memory break. It's really cool. Sick. Do you want to die? Are the only components that make it through the Cyclone Joker 
to a Cyclone Joga Extreme Parts conversion. You see, I already have the final set of alternate hands on there. There's the Prism Breaker. Here is the other free metals Heat, Luna, and Prism. I'll show you that later. And there's Cyclone Joker and the rest of the extreme memory so let's get these two out of it and let's continue all right so let's get this started so instead of the free piece set it has it's four pieces because the back has to be prismy and sparkly too. So I can't have to do this on camera. That's the whole reason why I'm taping it. Ooh boy, oh boy, you're there we go. Here's the back. Just clear piece of plastic. And what I found to do, just put it above the leg flaps, do really well. Whoa, camera, don't fall down. So I said before the entire design is a symmetrical <laughs> So <sighs> All right, wait a minute. All right, we have it complete and <sighs> Even though it's good to have an asymmetrical design it sucks when you have when you're trying to put it together and the parts just won't line up right because they can't line up right. So whatever I got it fixed it. So putting on the belt right now. There's a project underway to recreate a Missouri forest in autumn, complete with 35 foot tall sycamore trees. In the wild, it takes 80 years to grow a tree this size. But at Bassbro, a team of designers working round the clock can create one in just two weeks out of steel, foam, and epoxy. Once the tree's formed, we'll go ahead and put the epoxy on, apply it, and you can see, I'm pressing it on, I'm getting a relief from a, a bark compression on this root down here. Wait a minute. Alright, so let's put on the legs. No, put on the, the back section. Okay, there we go. Had it on the wrong way. Hold on, this is upside down.
Alright, we got it on correctly, so let's mod in the the rest of the chest and the shoulder pads. Adding in the arms right now. Oh, this is a bit loose, ain't it? Uh, I just had a little bit of problem with the lower torso. I fixed it. So... There it goes, and... Head. Oh yeah. All right, so let's put on this one. So let's see here, man. Aha. Uh -huh. something when you converting him to extreme form don't forget to take out the shorter pieces so the arms can look well more realistic all right all right we have everything here except for the extreme arms for the cyclone joker memory break so let's get on to the stand The stand with the base. The stand. Here and this is gonna be the head base. A lot of particles in the air, but I don't think those quite count as paranormal orbs. Hold on to that. Make sure we take a ton of photos of it. Look at that in the woods. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Look at the trees. Mountain thermal. Oh my god. It is moving. Now it's really kind of weird, hard to get these in, since the holes are hexagonal, but the pegs are circular. Uh, whatever, let's just keep going. This one 
I'll put on this side for Joker. And this one is for Cyclone. And this will how it goes. Well, for the final attack, so let's move on to the other parts. Cyclone Joker break. Right. The only parts we need from the Cyclone Joker is the arms, okay. the shoulder, and outer torso. This part, the Joker memory, the lower torso has, and lower legs. So let's get this one together. All right, let's start with the Joker half. So, shoulder pad, the arm, move it up so we can put in the hip part needed for this. Very good. It's nice they included like an extra one so we don't have to use every part for it. Here is the Cyclone. Uh, first let's attach the half of the crotch plate. Which is less detailed than this for some reason. You can see. So attaching, attaching. Alright, <laughs> uh attach it after. So there's Joker half. Let's move on to Cyclone. Well, oh, hey, 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 I forgot one thing. This part. Don't want him with a really thin waist, man. the complete joker half so cyclone leg connecting to the hip connecting to the main half connecting to the lower torso
then right. put it right here Joker memory right there Cyclone half Scarf Don't forget Scarf then the arm and there's entire cyclone half so since these tabs are still here for the bottom let's see if we can join this up so let's attach the halves to it joker goes on the bottom because he's the leading half Get everything lined up. Half sees. There were a few others that caught our eye throughout the night. Just see, that is that is more like what you would expect to find based on reports. I mean, hundred and hundred years. It looks like a like a little torch or something. Then. And this one, we see what looks like some sort of shadow. Add cyclone half. Put his scarf outwards. Fit the report. Say movement. It doesn't give me an answer. Though. Well, here's here's the problem. Here's the problem is a picture is great, but it, it's telling you one second in time. It's like a, it's like reading one page out of a novel. But another thing is that you go through a forest and take a hundred pictures and not get these weird anomalies. So right. I mean, they may they may be on this. But the real reason I wanted to sit down with Jason and Grant was to show them one piece of disturbing video footage. All right, what's sad about this? I can't get this open because it's so loose can't get it just does that so we're gonna see what we can do about it all right now this won't work because the peg and the hole on the joker side it's looser than it's really loose than the cyclone side and this just doesn't work. This is just too loose for it to go like this in the air. Because the weight, it won't support the weight. This thing just doesn't help, so I don't know. Alright, so, and take off this header. Better, God. And we'll turn on the alternate. Stand. So, cut out this, and I'll be back. And we're back with the pieces. So, let's put these on. Connect this. Do here. Connect this to the extension pole. Just connect. These ends together and let's connect. And let's see if this thing actually works. Based on when this part of the cave was above water, these remains would have to have been here for thousands of years. Seeing that this was an adult human skull, I decided to let the dead lie where they lay and make for the surface. We continued toward the shaman's village. Nearing nightfall, we finally reached the shaman, who began a ceremony to make contact with the Alush. <laughs> Oh, he's just asking to show if he's doing it. Mother, the end for all those alluges, and my dear, to I hear you for the phone to talk to us. The alluges are here, it says. Yes. Okay. Is this the new cast that I did? Arbor? He's going to use this liquid that was in the bark of the tree, and he's mixed it with honey, as well as this. Seriously, this stand. Known to warm up. The head looks. The head works very good, but. This thing, this part, right here, ain't gonna cut it. This one is firm as hell. Well, not really, but this part. I can't tighten these two anymore, so... Now stand. So... See you later.
Alright, I still recommend this figure, even though the stand doesn't work quite well. But, um... Do you believe that if I go there, and I spend the night on the island, that I can observe this paranormal activity? Can I really see? Absolutely. Those pretty good poses.